What's going on, everyone? And welcome to the first ever episode of Nerding Out for a Cause. I'm your host, Dylan Field, Nerding Out for a Cause, better known as NOFAC, acronym pending, is a project done in collaboration with the USC sketch comedy troupe, The Suspenders, to raise money for the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund. Every week, a future sponsor, such as yourself, can choose a Marvel character ranging from legends such as Spider-Man and Black Panther to the most obscure heroes such as Dr. Druid and Four Bushman. For more information on becoming a sponsor, make sure to check out the information provided below. To kick off the first episode, we'll be going higher, further, and faster with U.S. Air Force pilot and Avenger Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. Before Captain Marvel was a box office sensation and a household superhero name, Carol Danvers was created by writer Roy Thomas and artist Gene Collin in March 1968 for Marvel Superheroes number 13. Even before getting her superpowers, Carol Danvers was nothing short of a badass. A decorated U.S. Air Force officer, Danvers served as security chief to Walter Lawson, aka the original Captain Marvel and Kree soldier Marvell. That's right, the original Captain Marvel's name is Marvell. I don't write the stories, I just read them. In January 1977, Carol Danvers receives her first ongoing comic book run entitled Miss Marvel. In the second issue of Miss Marvel, it is revealed that an explosion filled with cosmic rays merged Danvers' DNA with the intergalactic Kree soldier Marvell. Following her recovery, Danvers dons the title of Miss Marvel and gains superpowers including superhuman strength, endurance, durability, energy absorption, can fly at six times the speed of sound, and photonic blasts. Pew, 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 pew. Throughout the last 40 years, Danvers has become a staple to many variations of the Avengers lineup, including the new Avengers, alongside Spider-Man, Wolverine, and The Thing. In 2012, writer Kelly Sue DeConnick revolutionized Carol Danvers. Donning a new costume and the mantle of Captain Marvel, Danvers made waves in the Marvel Universe. Marvel Studios pays respect to DeConnick by featuring the writer in a small cameo in the 2019 blockbuster. Speaking of movie cameos, I'd be remiss not to mention the epic musical inclusion of Only Happy When It Rains, performed by Steve Marker in the rest of the rock band Garbage. Mr. Marker is a huge supporter of the suspenders, and we're happy to give him a shout-out. In terms of Captain Marvel's future in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we're excited to see where Danvers goes next, and if the mantle is ever passed again. You see, there was another Captain Marvel prior to Danvers. In January 1983, Monica Rambeau made her comic debut in Avengers number 227, under the mantle of Captain Marvel. Adopting various other names throughout the years such as Photon, Pulsar, and now Spectrum, Rambeau has become synonymous with becoming the first female African-American Avenger. In fact, Rambeau becomes such an integral member to the team that she becomes leader of the Avengers in Avengers number 273. Her powers include energy absorption, flight, durability, as well as the ability to convert her body into any form of energy within the electromagnetic spectrum. While the adolescent version of her character debuted in Captain Marvel, played by Akira Akbar, Marvel Studios confirmed at the 2019 San Diego Comic-Con that an adult version of Monica Rambeau, played by Tiana Paris, will debut in the Disney Plus original WandaVision. WandaVision, starring Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany, is premiering this December on Disney+, Plus, and Captain Marvel 2 is expected to hit theaters July 8, 2022. That about wraps up the first episode of Nerding Out for a Cause. For more information on the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund, to donate to the cause, to read more about Monica Rambeau and Carol Danvers, or to become a future sponsor of NOFAC, make sure to check out the information provided below. Thank you so much to Ariel for sponsoring the first video in selecting Captain Marvel. Her donation to the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund made this video possible. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of NoFAC. It's a rough title. We're gonna we're gonna need to workshop that around. Maybe do some focus groups.
No text. I don't know. I checked. This is a woman's shirt. Okay, that's. I, no, think that, good. Okay. Yeah. I think that was the best take, especially with your inflection on that. Yeah. Um.